Welcome to Decode ITES. This is a single learning platform for multiple IT infrastructure technologies. Do like, share, and subscribe our channel to never miss out our videos. Let's continue with the learning. Let's have a small introduction of myself. My name is Prince Berg. I'm having three plus years of work experience and worked on Red Hat, VMware, Windows, Google Cloud, PowerShell, Python, and Bash script. Kindly follow us on Facebook, Insta, LinkedIn, and reach out to us on itesfun.com. Hello everyone. So today we will learn what is star command in Linux. So what is star command? It is a command by which we can combine a bunch of files and directories into a single file. Also, the tar command is used to compress a group of files or we can say multiple files into an archive. The command is also used to extract, maintain or modify the tar archives. These tar archives combine multiple files or directories together to a single file. Tar archive are not necessary compressed but they can be. The permissions are preserved on the process of archiving. It supports many compression formats. Also the algorithm used for compressing these files is of .tar.gz and .tar.bz2 like for gzip and bunzip algorithms respectively. What are the syntax? The syntax is we first need to mention tar, then we need to mention options which I have listed over here. Then we have to mention the archive file name which we want to be like uh, uh, file dot uh, uh, bzip or file dot zip. Then we have to mention file or directory to be archived. Like uh, uh, if I am having a folder named as file1 under root directory, so I will mention slash file1. Here are some important options for this command which we need to use under the syntax. Like hyphen c, it is for creating archive. Hyphen x, this needs to be used for extracting the archive hyphen f it creates archive with given file name hyphen t it displays or list file in archived file hyphen u it archives and adds to existing archive file like if you are having an existing zip file and you want some more files to go into there you can run the syntax using hyphen u then we come with hyphen v. It displays verbose information like if you are mentioning hyphen v it will list out the current status like which file is archiving and where it got stuck everything. Hyphen a. It concatenates the archive files. Hyphen z. It compresses the tar file using gzip. Hyphen j. It compresses the files using bzip2. These are the two algorithms which we have discussed earlier. Hyphen W. It verifies an archive file that it's all good and healthy. Hyphen R. It updates or add file or directory in already existing tar file. Now look at some examples. So the first example is how to extract an archive. Second one is create an archive with files or folder. Then we come with create compressed archives and then show all files of an archive. Let's have a practical overview of them. So now let's take a look at the examples in the practical overview. So the first example is to extract an archive. But before that Let's create an archive.
So I'm creating a directory and So here you can see I have created four files. Let's go back to the uh, home directory. Yeah. As you can see, the test directory is here, which we have created. So let's create an archive. As per the syntax, as per the syntax, we will gonna use star and then CFV. C is to create the archive. F is to create the archive with a given file name, which we're gonna mention over here. And then V, V is for verbos, okay? And the, the archival name, which we want to give is like test.tar, okay? And then the directory. So it's showing that uh, all the files and folders have been archived. Let's list over here. You can see test.r is created. Now, another example is how to extract an archive. So now, as you can see, we are having a tar file, or you can say the archive folder over here. Let me remove uh, the original folder quickly. Now we are having the tar folder only. Let's try to extract this. So for this, we are using syntax tar xfv. X is for extracting the files, f is for file name, and v is for web OS. Okay. And then we are mentioning the file name. Now, if you can see, is a folder created by name test. If we go into the folder, or uh, if we can list out the files from here, you can see all the original files are back. Now, this example is just for creating an archival. This is not compression. Let's create compressed archives. Okay. Let's remove tar dot. Let's remove test dot tar. Okay. Now it's removed. Let's clear up the screen very quickly. And then we will gonna use the syntax tar cfzb. Like C is for create, F is for file name, V is for web boss, and, and Z is to compress with gzip, okay? Then the archival name, let's say root.tar. And then we need to mention files. I will mention the whole test folder, okay? It's completed. As you can see, root.tar is created over here in a compressed format. Let's move to another set of examples. Like uh, how to show all the files that are lying under an archive. So here we will gonna use tar tvf. V and F we have already discussed and T is for displaying or listing the files in an archive file. Then we need to mention the file name like root.tar that we have just created. As you can see, it's listing out all the files that lying under this tar archival. Taking on with some more examples, like create an uncompressed archive for all txt files in current directory. Extracting files from gz tar archive, like archive.tar.gz and then creating a compressed tar archive file using bz2. Okay, let's move to another example, which is create an uncompressed archive of all the files in current directory, or you can say all the text files. So let's go to the text directory first and create some txt files.
so if you can see over here, I have created three text files, uh, some regular files and one py extension file. So now we will gonna create uncompressed archive of all the .txt files. For this, we will have the syntax tar cfv, uh, like we can say archive.tar. This is the file name which we are giving, and we can mention star.txt, the wildcard entry. If you can see, it selected only the text files. We can list out the same over here okay. by using tar tvf archive.tar. You can see it has taken up only the three text files on the current directory. Let's clear out the screen. So now the next example is how to extract files from gzip tar archive. But before that, we need to create a file with gzip extension. So how we can do this? Let's say we are having all the files over here. I want to create a, I want to create a gzip extension file. So that we will gonna use the syntax tar czvf and then let's say next.txt um, is the file name which we will wanna convert. But we need to mention the file name like file.tar.gz. The next.txt uh, file will gonna archive the gzip compression format. If you can see over here, we are now having file.tar.gz. This is the gzip extension file. So this is the gzip extension file. Let's back to the question, which is how to extract files from this one, like from tar.gz. For this, we will have to use tar xzbf file.tar.gz and then over here like but before that we will gonna remove this file like next.txt it's removed now so now we can run the command If you can see the next.txt file is back over here. Now the next question is how to create an archive with bzip format. Let's clear out the screen first. And let's say we are having tar command, then we will uh, gonna use cvfj. So we will gonna use the syntax tar cvfg and then the file name like uh, bzip.tar.tbz and then I will mention all the files. Okay, so all the files have been uh, now archived with the bzip format. You can see over here bzip is the file name and tar.tbz is the extension. Now we come with some more examples. Updating existing tar file by adding to do text file to it, like uh, adding a, a text file to existing archive. Listing contents of tar file. And then the last one is creating a compressed archive of current directory, but excluding few directories. Like uh, if you are lying under uh, slash etc, they are having a lot of directories. So you want to uh, take a backup of all the files and folders, except a uh, few directories, or you can say files. Let's have a practical overview of them. Let's move to the another set of commands, which is how to add an uh, like txt format file to uh, existing archive. Let's say we are having archive.tar over here. 
okay we can list out uh, the contents by using tar tf archive.tar okay you can see one two three and next of txt files are over here let's create a new file by name linux.txt and now the command is tar rvf then we need to mention the tar archival under which we want to add a new file like archive.tar then we will gonna mention linux.txt if we list the files over here you can see linux.txt is added so that's all for today's lecture and i hope you have learned enough with working tar command in linux we will continue with the next module in our coming videos thanks for watching do like share and comment our videos also subscribe to our channel